Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interesting life.com and you're joining me as I sit in the passenger seat of this car with the GoPro stuck on top of it and we drive down this absolutely wonderful road. You can see we've got sheep, we've got mountains, we've got views, we're even going to have the old ruined castle of Dinis Bran in a moment and well, we're just going for a drive on the outskirts of Langoflin down the roads that skirt around the Panorama Walk Hill and the hills themselves where I've done videos and been walking up are all the ones just up on the left hand side here again what a fantastic road this is where you have to literally stop and let sheep pass and all the rest of it absolutely beautiful what a it just adds to the character and the rural feeling of this place, even more so than the actual road surface and just everything about this tiny little road winding through the hills itself adds and gives you the gist of the actual area it's in, i.e. a very rural location. Um, the brown hill just to the right hand side here that's sort of behind the trees and just in sight now is the hill that's got Dennis Brown on top of it which I'll post a link to the uh, link to a video of that in the description again I seem to have terrible trouble getting me words in the correct order in these videos these days or maybe it's the fact that I do them far more openly and honestly in terms of doing one take and then just going for it and letting you see all of the terrible errors and the random and the manglings of words that I do these days. Um, again, I mean, just having sheep all over the place, and especially at this time of year and a couple of weeks ago where the lambs are even smaller and they'll just be uh, just chaos. And these are the sorts of places that sometimes, as you're driving down, you can imagine that if you get behind a few sheep that are walking in the same direction as the car, then they'll just hold you up and you'll be behind them for 30 seconds, a minute maybe, as they just trot down before they dart off suddenly to one of the sides. I mean, it's just perfect. As I say, this is one of those roads that is iconic for not only its location and the scenery and everything that's immediately around it and the actual width and just everything about the road as we've said but also it's quite iconic to a lot of people in the local area and from the places like Oswestry and the places that I've grown up in because this is on the outskirts of Langoflin which makes it one of the top tourist destinations in the area and one of those places that you'll go for a random Sunday afternoon out with the family as a kid and all of those sorts of things. And because of that, there's a lot of childhood memories that a lot of people from my area have got of driving around this place. And there's often when I talk about where I go walking and when I'm heading out to Dennis Brown or these other places in this area, people will reference, oh yeah, that's where that windy road is. And they'll know the road and have a memory of the road, even if they don't know the actual places and hills in the vicinity. And that speaks volumes again for just the sort of area that I've grown up. And as I always talk about, I've grown up in Oswestry in Shropshire, which is super rural, got loads of countryside in all directions. But then having places like this, maybe, I don't know how many miles from Oswestry itself, but not a long drive away. And I mean, suddenly you've got places that everybody knows as stand out the sort of memories of like, oh yeah, that road along the hillside and you can stop and take photos of the castle and Langoflin and all the rest of it. Anyway, I've talking quite um, quite passionately about my childhood and memories and this sort of area. Again, I just love it. A sheep that doesn't move out of your way and makes you drive on the grass. Great stuff. On that note, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Please do consider checking out my other videos for loads of biking, loads of boating, loads of just generally walking up the hills, including Dennis Brown that we saw in this video. I'll post the link to that video in particular in the description below. And really, I'll just say, check out my other videos for loads of outdoors stuff. Please do consider checking out my books about narrowboat life available for the Kindle. And please do consider adding me on Facebook and Twitter and liking the Facebook page, all that sort of stuff. You'll find links to everything just mentioned in the description below. Until the next time, keep it drive-worthy, keep it boat-worthy, and of course, farewell.